Hey YouTubers, Big T Express again. Last video for the day. Uh, I wanted to talk about the Tahoe. Now the Tahoe was the baby brother um, to the Suburban, as was the GMC Yukon. And this was back uh, when the GMC was still called the Suburban instead of the Yukon XL too. Uh, you know, GM recognized the growing market for um, the uh, SUV in the mid 90s. Uh, when, when Ford brought their Explorer along, which was essentially a four door Bronco 2 at first, um, they were selling like hotcakes. And they actually uh, were outselling the S10 Blazer like three to one or four to one, um, probably because they were new on the market and whatnot. And, and actually, Ford did a really good job of offering up level of trims like the Limited and Eddie Bauer and stuff. Well, the Suburbans were always pretty popular, but when it came to the Suburbanites, who didn't need all that extra length, um, but wanted that big sumo size SUV look, GM was the first one to go, hey, let's cut this down, give them a full size look without the full size lack of maneuverability. So, hence 1995, the Tahoe and the Yukon came out. Um, it took Ford three years to come out with the Expedition to compete. And to be honest, we all know the Expedition never really did sell in the numbers that the Tahoe did. So, kind of the history of the SUV, that's when Ford said, you know what? Yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and, and we're going to up the ante. The closest thing that, that GM had to a luxury SUV was a, uh, a Yukon SLT. So Ford rebadged and did a little work on the Expedition, and hence you had the Navigator. And the Navigator took the market by storm. Well, GM had been experimenting with a separate lineup for the Yukon called the Denali. Now, it was not the Yukon Denali. At first, it was just the Denali, the GMC Denali. Well, the Lincoln came out, and everybody started buying those up like crazy. And so GM did a rush job, rebadged, and put a wood steering wheel in a Denali and made it the Escalade. Didn't sell well against the Navigator. The Navigator was a nicer vehicle. Uh, you'll notice that Escalade sold 98, 99, and 2000. They did not sell Escalades in 2001. They took a whole year off to rethink this because they realized if they were going to compete with the Navigator, they had to have something that was better and not just a gussied up Yukon Denali or a gussied up Tahoe. So what they did is they gussied up a Yukon Denali. <laughs> um, but one of the things they also did, too, is they started offering it in the ESV and EXT models. Now, the ESV was the suburban-sized one, the EXT being the one that was based on the Chevy Avalanche. And uh, they did an awesome job in the styling. And whether or not you like the Escalade, I'm okay with them. Uh, you know, they made them full-time all-wheel drive instead of in-and-out uh, four-wheel drive like the Tahoe was. They made it basically more user-friendly for your average well-heeled buyer that would buy it and um, uh, put the bling effect to it and uh, then every then all of a sudden anybody that was anybody had an escalator and the navigator kind of got left in the, in the wake I mean the navigators are still there they still sell them today along with the escalates but the navigators do not sell anywhere near the numbers that the uh, escalates do and nowadays Escalades are so popular, you get a fully loaded ESV Platinum with all the bells and whistles, you're talking $85,000, $90,000, yeah, for a gussied up Suburban. Anyways, I just rambled on again, um, that's kind of the history, so to speak, the, the later history of uh, how SUVs evolved into the luxury sumo size station wagons that they are. My personal feeling, really look at these things look at them. What are they? You lift them up a little bit, put four-wheel drive underneath them, but their basic design is a station wagon. You cannot get Americans to buy a station wagon, which is sad. I love wagons. But they'll buy this, which is a station wagon. In fact, in my state, South Dakota, these are still classified by our DMV as wagons. When you write up, like I was in the used car business for a long time, when you write up 
one of these. The body style is wagon. But anyhow, I digress. Um, this one's plastic body style. But then uh, these ones are metal. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, but they are all pretty cool. I mean, I'm this Hot Wheels kind of nod to the... You know, sometimes we got to make a normal vehicle. Anyways, guys, questions, comments, smart remarks. I know I rambled and rambled, but uh, let me know. Thanks, guys.